New tonight, big changes to the I-95, I-91 interchange in New Haven. Long of the works are going into effect very soon. Good evening, I'm Ann Nyberg. And I'm Darren Kramer. That interchange is one of the most traveled in the state. Two lanes of 95 North and two lanes of I-91 North in the Long Wharf Drive area are going to be flipped this weekend. Starting this Saturday, the exit ramp on 91 will be on the right side of 95 North. This is Jackie Slater live in New Haven tonight. She's got your back breaking down these new changes. Jackie. Yeah, good evening, Darren and Ann. You can see traffic here is actually starting to back up as construction starts for the evening. Now, in this area, for the past 60 years, that's 60 years, a long time, if you wanted to head north on 91, you would stay in the left two lanes. If you wanted to head north on 95, you'd be in the right two lanes. Well, starting this weekend, that's all going to change. One more step towards completion. This coming weekend marks the last major traffic shift for the New Haven Pearl Harbor crossing project. For many Connecticut drivers, it can't come soon enough. It is crazy. It's dangerous. It is uh, confusing, especially if people are not familiar. I'm very familiar with it, and sometimes it uh, gets a, a little uh, stressful. In my opinion, I think I think it's going to be. It's going to be confusing, but not that hard, you know. You can, you can deal with it. To ease some of the confusion, project managers released this digital enactment. Beginning Saturday, drivers will have to stay in the two left-hand lanes to follow 95 north, up and over the bridge, and towards Rhode Island. The two right lanes will take drivers to I-91 north, heading towards Hartford. It is a big change. We're notifying everybody as early as possible. The, the signs, the variable message signs will be uh, displaying the change all the way from New York, all the way to New Haven, so people will be notified as they're coming up. Crews will begin prepping for the shift on Thursday night. Drivers should expect ramp and lane closures and delays in the overnight hours through Saturday morning. Engineer Dominic LaRosa says construction on the entire project is slated to be complete in October of this year. It's feeling pretty good around here right now. We had a great 4th of July weekend, as you know, with the lights going on, you know, red, white, and blue, and that was just phenomenal. So we're, we're feeling pretty good. We're getting towards the end. You know, like I said, it's bittersweet, but we're getting there, and we're happy for the accomplishment. And if you are going to be driving in the area this weekend, officials say watch those signs, obey the speed limits, keep your eye out for drivers who aren't aware of the changes. And DOT says they will have extra tow trucks on hand nearby in case there's any problems, they can clear the roads quickly. Live in New Haven, Jackie Slater, News 8.